What's going on, people? Before I get started, you will find this article on my Word page, which I'm going to put the link to my channel or my page on the bottom in the description box. Go there, follow, subscribe. You see the title of this article, American Couple Being Held at Ransom in Haiti. Family says, we told them not to go. And then the subtitle says, the husband and wife were visiting relatives and attending a festival, which tells me that they are originally from Haiti. Before I read this article, I just want to say that foundational black Americans, Haitians, that are now American citizens, Africans that are now American citizens, those from the Caribbean that are now American citizens, melanated people of the world that migrate to America and become American citizens, you have to watch how you move. I'll repeat that. You have to watch how you move. We are living in times when those that are American citizens, especially melanated people, with all the human trafficking, the sex trafficking, um, body parts being missing, you have to be careful how you move now. Just being an American citizen or saying that you are an American citizen puts you at risk. Now, I almost guarantee if this couple had it just said, we're Haitians and not really traveled as Americans, maybe this would not have happened to them. I saw a video where they were questioning people, different black people from Africa, from different places, and they were asking them questions about maybe, let's say, a type of music. And they would ask the person where they're from, and some people would say, I'm from the UK, others would say, I'm from Jamaica. And then there was a person, they say, where you're from? They said, I'm an American. Their face lit up and says, oh, you're an American. Even melanated people that come from other nations and become citizens to America, if you live here for a while, your whole appearance, your attitude, your aura changes, your energy changes when you become an American citizen. You have a different look about you. Even when you go back home, when you travel abroad, you have a different presence with you. And you have those that even from where you're from would even question like, where you're from? I'm an American. You automatically become a, a target. Just think back of these dudes and this woman that went to Mexico for a Brazilian butt lift or whatever they call it. One person got killed. So Americans, they think that you have money. I watched a video just this past week of this black American that moved to, well, I believe it was Ghana. And she was telling those in Africa, like, look, I had to save money to get what I have today. I'm not rich. I don't have a whole lot of money because once she got to Africa and established herself, they start going up on prices. They start price gouging them. So she made the announcement to Africans like they really care. They only see Americans. And it's been put out that the black American spending power is much, is great. 
So they're not listening to you saying, I don't have the money. I'm poor. I had to save to get where I am today. They don't hear that. They only know that you are an American. So now you have a couple that goes to visit their family and relative, and now they're missing. They're kidnapped, and they're asking for a ransom. The article reads, an American couple visiting Haiti is being held at ransom after being kidnapped from a bus nearly a week ago, according to their family. Sean Dickens, Toussaint, Toussaint and his wife, Abigail Toussaint of Tamarick, Florida, were in Haiti to see ailing relatives and attend a community festival when they were kidnapped Saturday while traveling on a bus to Port-au-Prince, their family said. A family friend who met the couple at the airport to escort them was also kidnapped. Their niece, Christy, who declined to give her last name, told ABC. Now, something seems quite fishy with this. Why were they targeted? Why were they targeted? Then it says they stopped the bus at a stop and they asked for the Americans. Listen, they stopped the bus at a stop and they ask for the Americans on the bus and their escorts to come off the bus. And then they took them, Christy told the station. In response to an inquiry about the incident, the U.S. Department of State did not confirm a kidnapping but said it is aware of reports of two U.S. citizens missing in Haiti. Then it says the family learned about the ransom demands after the friend, after the friend escorting the Toussaint contacted his relatives, Chrissy said. The kidnappers initially demanded $6,000 for the couple's release. Nikise Toussaint, the sister of Sean Dickens Toussaint, told ABC News, Though once they sent the money, the price went up to 200000 per person. And we don't have that type of money, Christy told WPLGC. So they asked for 6000 and once they met those demands, the kidnappers more than likely thought like, well, hey, if I could get six grand, if they gave it to me that quick, then maybe we can get 200 grand. See, so foundational black Americans and melanated people that come from other nations and now are American citizens, you have a different presence with yourself. The way you carry yourself, the way you think is now Americanized and you are a target. And listen, you can't always bet on black. And I mentioned that in a video of the past. You go to these countries, man, because you're happy to see all black people, especially foundational black Americans, black people everywhere. And you think that you're safe now. You're leaving what you call racist America. And you go into places like Ghana, Kenya, and different African countries. And you think you're safe there just to find out that you become a target. And I mentioned in videos that Africa is not a place for all foundational black Americans. If you think back in history, if Africa cannot protect their people, you have nations, uh, Russia, China, just different nations, European nations, just moving freely over the continent, making demands in the continent. So how do you think those various countries in the continent can protect you when 
They didn't protect your alleged ancestors. Didn't even come and try to claim you. And many Africans don't even claim you. They say we're not the same. They would tell you that. So you have to really be careful how you move. And despite your beliefs, America is the safest place for black Americans today. In spite of everything that's going on and that had occurred in America, this is the safest place for you to be. And even in America, you have to be careful how you move. See, but this is the safest place you can be. <laughs> you know, because you go to other nations, I don't care how, how friendly they appear to be, how welcoming they appear to be, they give you free passports, and then you have some that say, oh, they give you land, especially if you marry. That's all caps, man. That's all a lie. This is them trying to lure you in. And you have modern day black Americans that don't think because for whatever reason they were rushed through the educational system. So they don't think they run on or operate on emotions. And you have to really be careful. Now, this looks like a nice couple. But they went back to their homeland as American citizens and became a target. Whoever kidnapped them, if this is a real kidnapping, whoever kidnapped them don't view them as Haitian anymore. Because the person that got on the bus was like, where are the Americans? So now you're a target. So it says, Nikis Tassant said they did not know how to reach Haiti police. So have not contacted them. See, this sounds a little fishy to me. There's more than meet the eye. There's something that's not being said here. But said they did reach out to the U.S. Embassy and U.S. Department of Homeland Security, the U.S. Department of State, and our embassies and consulates abroad have no greater priority than the safety and security of U.S. citizens overseas. The U.S. Department of State said, when U.S. citizens are missing, we work closely with local authorities as they carry out their search efforts, and we share information with families however we can. And then it says, we have nothing further to share at this time. Now, everything prior to that sounded good. But then, in the last paragraph, it says, we have nothing further to share at this time. The statement added. And in closing, it says, the two have a one-year-old son who is thankfully not with them, but staying with a relative Nikis Toussaint said. The family member said they were worried about the couple making the trip, given the political unrest and gang violence in Haiti. We were very worried when they said they were going. We told them not to go, but they wanted to go, Nikis Toussaint said. Now, like I said, Unfortunately, this generation does not heed warnings. This modern day, how could I say this? Because I'm being as honest as I possibly can. This generation is not that bright. They're not that bright. They operate on emotions. They don't listen or heed to warnings. Had they have listened, had they, had they had paid attention to what's going on around the world, 
especially in their own country. Common sense would have told them, I'm going to stay my behind right here in America, or I would change my plans to go somewhere else. Now, I understand they're visiting their families, but you also have to be smart. You know, because a lot of us have this thought and idea, it's not going to happen to me. I hear about it in the news. I see it on the Internet. I read news articles. But this is not going to happen to me because I know my way around. And then you end up being an alleged victim. And I say alleged because this sounds fishy. It almost sounds like it's an inside job. Someone that they know. So, and it looks like an innocent couple. They look nice together. Looks like a nice couple. But something does not seem right with this story. And then in closing, it said, The State Department advises Americans not to travel to Haiti due to kidnapping, crime, and civil unrest. I do have the worst case scenario playing in my head. But I keep trying to reject it because I don't want that to happen, Christie told WPLG. This is the couple right here. And then it says, we just want to hear their voice as proof that they are still alive, she said. Now again, this could all just be a hoax and it could be real. But something does not seem right with this story. You know, it doesn't seem right. It's a nice little couple. Of course, they cover up the child's face. But something's not right with this story. And I hope it's not what I think. But black Americans, melanated people, because I hate using the term black, you have to be careful how you move. I see a lot of y'all making videos talking about you going to Mexico, Mexico, and you're going to this place and you're going to that place. You're traveling to the continent. You're going this. You want to be around black people. You're moving. And then you have what I call ambassadors that are mixed among the population on social media. And they're pretending to be everyday average citizens that's from the continent. And they're pushing that agenda for black Americans to pack up and leave and go to the motherland. You need to go to motherland. You need to go visit your homeland. Just go visit. You need to go there if you marry. And another thing, too, I watched this video with these two African chicks was trying to Encourage black American males to marry African women. I've never, I don't really know of too many cases, man, where, where black American men marry African females. I've never really seen a case where African women were interested in black American men. They always seem to be interested in, you know, others. You know, Caucasians, even Asians. But they're told by their parents to avoid black Americans because we're lazy, because we sag our pants, because we're violent, because we don't take care of our families. We don't have the same values that they have. It's what they tell them. They call us out of our names. But then these two African chicks are making videos saying more black American men need to marry African women. And then they said, if you come with $10,000, you can buy land. You get a free passport. You can build this and you can do this. They're selling you a dream. And there's a lot of black Americans that fall for that. And again, those Melanated people that come from other places that are now considered citizens here in America, you have to now be careful how you move.
because just by you carrying the title of an American, you automatically become a target. You will be targeted because they automatically think that you have money. And even if you say you're broke and don't have no money, they're not trying to hear that because they see you traveling. They see how you carry yourself. They see how you dress. They see you with your cell phones. You know, they see you with your jewelry. If you wear a lot of jewelry around your neck, you have black Americans going to Mexico for butt lifts and, you know, women having their bodies altered. They see that. And they think you have money. So you become a target. So you really have to be careful how you move. See, every skin, skin folks ain't kin folks. All kin folk, or better yet, all skin folks. Those that look like you ain't kin folks. See, and we see that here in America with the politicians. See, you vote for them and put them in office because they skin folks. But once they get in office, they ain't your kin folks. They're not concerned about you. They're only thinking about self and building their own bank account. They forget about you. And they take on the same agendas that the white supremacists have to keep you down. Because as long as they can keep you down and under their feet, they can get you to vote for them when they make empty promises and you will vote for them just because of the political party and because of skin folks. So black Americans, you need to be careful how you move. And when I say black Americans now, I'm referring to those that also traveled or became citizens of America. That's melanated. Whether you come from Haiti, the Caribbean islands, you know, regardless of where you came from, if you are now an American citizen and you're melanated, you have to be careful how you move. You just can't go back home, you know, looking, you shining and whatnot. And then you have people where you came from looking at you and they see you. Now they see you as an American. You become a target. So feedback, tell me what you think. Go check out my link, my WordPress. I have a host of articles on there that you guys might be interested in. Or you can just use those articles to make videos such as this one. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.